Hi everybody! Finally I'm doing the video that I've been waiting to do for so long. I've put my ultimate intro to punk playlist together with the help of my patrons. I'm going to listen to five brand new songs to my ears from five punk rock bands that are essential listening. My first time listening to punk music. With that said, I probably have listened to a few punk songs here and there, like I've heard Should I Stay, Should I Go, but apart from that, I'm ready to go with this genre and listen to whatever is thrown my way because I haven't really listened to like 99% of punk. Five different bands, gonna go in chronological order here, and today we're gonna start off with proto-punk. So proto-punk is the rock music played by garage bands from the 1960s to mid-1970s that foreshadowed the punk rock movement. So I thought it would be good to do at least one song from a proto-punk band, so I chose the Stooges for this, and the song recommended to me was I Wanna Be Your Dog off the self-titled The Stooges from 1969. Already the title is intriguing and I'm interested to see what the lyrics are to this song. If you'd like to see the unedited version of this video, it'll be up on my Patreon. Okay, here we go, the start of my punk journey. 1969. Some of my favorite music is from this year. Oh. Ooh, bass. Sounds like Christmas jingles. <laughs> so up. I want you here. But I was gonna just say that bass is really groovy. Now we're gonna be face to face. Oh, I can already tell this music is gonna be totally for me. Upset, I haven't been listening to this music already. Well, come on. Come on. The, the Christmas jingles are getting me. What are the Christmas jingles about? Now I'm ready to close my eyes. You could dance to this, Loki. This is like something that you just like jump around to. I love how the chorus, like the main line, just sounds like the verse. It all just blends together. Oh. Bass is my favorite part. Oh. Come on. So raw. Really short and sweet. Very short and sweet that song. I loved that. I loved that song. That was great. That was so awesome. I really enjoyed that song a lot. It's totally for me, this type of music, if the rest of it is sort of like this or this is proto-punk, so maybe it's not the same as normal punk, but so far, good vibes about this. I do listen to some post-punk music, so this is a good thing. If I like proto-punk and I like post-punk, hopefully I'll like punk. The bass and the guitar was creating a really great rhythm that I was just like, jiving along to. Such a good rhythm. And then the vocal delivery on top of that was also probably my favorite thing. Just the da 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 da. There's something so laid back and cool about it that I really like. Like he's talking about how he wants to be someone's dog, but he sounds cool talking about it. Don't know how he's pulling that off, but he's somehow doing it. I'm living for it. Love the rest of the lyrics as well. I love the title. I love the repetition of the title throughout the song. I'm loving everything about this song. This song's really great. 9 out of 10. I love that song. That was nearly a 10 out of 10 song for me. And then the sort of rough sounding gritty guitar at the end, the little guitar solo on the back end of the track. I really liked that too. I wasn't expecting it to be at the end of the song. This is just a fun time, this song. It was a good, good time. So the next song I'm going to listen to because I'm listening to these songs in order. So I'm gonna go over to the Ramones. The Ramones were mentioned a lot as like a band that just needs to be listened to if I'm doing an intro to punk. Coming up in 1976 with the song Blitzkrieg, 
bop. I am really excited to listen to this song because I've heard a lot about the Ramones. Ramones is just one of those bands where you just see the band t-shirt everywhere. I also just watched School of Rock and I saw the Ramones pop up in School of Rock and that got me excited to listen to Ramones. I'm just all over the Ramones when it comes to like noticing it around in life, but I need to listen to them. They're just called Ramones, they're not called The Ramones. <laughs> Sorry, learning as I go. The self-titled album Ramones came out in 1976. Okay, I'm listening to my first Ramones song. Wow, it's so much quicker. The tempo is really going up. Stooges is very slow compared to this. Let's go. Oh! Oh, I know this. Ah! It's interesting to hear the rest of the song, though. That goes along with it. Ah! Oh, this is so fun! Yeah, I think I might know them from movies, this part. This is great! I love the rough sound of all the guitar and bass as well, very prevalent. Yeah. Oh, this is just fun! It's just a fun song. I love that. I feel like I should be in a car, just like driving along really fast. Let's go. Oh, nice. How fun is that? 10 out of 10 fun right there. I think I like the Sutra song slightly more. I just like the sound of it a little bit more, but that is just fun. Like you throw that song on at a party. Oh my God. I can't believe I've been making party playlists for so many years now and I never have included that song. From now on, forevermore, that song will always be in my party playlists. And it's interesting because I have heard the hey ho, let's go part in movies, I believe, or TV shows. They play just like a snippet of this song sometimes, but I never heard the full song together. And I think I like the full song together so much more. Now that I've heard the full song, I just have such a bigger appreciation for the Hey Ho, Let's Go. Both of these songs are great so far. I'm very, very impressed. The next song I'm gonna listen to is The Damned, Neat, Neat, Neat from 1977. It is off the album Damned, Damned, Damned. And this is also the first song off this album. So let's give this a listen. This is probably the one band I've heard the least about, like the actual name, The Damned. Oh, they're about the bass. Oh, they're, oh, they're about the bass! Wow! Oh my god! Whoa! Drums! Turn up! Bass. Even that guitar, it's really cool. Oh, the bass is so I want to learn this on bass right now. Quite different actually. All of these bands. I love the bass in this song. <laughs> so much. Mm. Like even a bit more rough around the edge as usual. Wow. Oh my <laughs> I loved that guitar solo. Wow! That was so good. That sounded amazing. And then the bass broke down. Oh. This song is so good. I'm so happy right now. This is why I listen to music. They all 
finish so quickly. They all finish so abruptly. That was so good. That was like, okay, should I say it? 10 out of 10. I really liked that song a lot. That is easily my favorite. You can always tell when it's my favorite. I smile a lot and I start jittering around and I get goosebumps. Ooh. The only thing is like the mixing of it, it's really quiet and I wish it was louder just because it's really good. But apart from that, I'm really happy with that song. The guitar solo was so good. The guitar solo is what really made it click for me. Up until that point, I was like, mm, solid A out of 10. And then the guitar solo, and I was like, wait, this is at least a 9.8. And then the rest of the song just locked it in for me. Ah, oh, the bass, the fact that it started with bass. Oh, you already know as well. You just know from that. Oh, what a great song. That is totally for me, that song. It's signed, sealed, delivered, my favorite song ever. And it's only like two minutes 41. All these songs are so short. Is that punk? Like I'm looking at the rest of this damned album. The longest song is four minutes 25. And all the other songs are like two minutes, sometimes less. Very short, very to the point, very punchy. That song blew me away just then. I didn't expect because like I said, the damned is one of the bands I had never heard of before. And this is why I listen to recommendations from strangers online. Let's keep going. Let's go to Black Flag, Nervous Breakdown. And it was originally from January of 1979. You'll see why I mentioned January when you get to the next song after this one. But once again, another short ass song. This song comes in at two minutes and nine seconds. Crazy. How are these guys doing this? This is amazing. This is the other band I had not ever really heard of. Really excited to give this song a listen. The fact that it was on an EP and it's the most recommended song gives me good hope that it'll be a banger. Oh, I love the seven. Wow, it's way louder than the dance. Okay. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. My head really hurts. That first line is so good. What is going on? This guy's definitely the most out there vocals. Oh my god, he's still going. <laughs> I mean, I won't disagree with you. liked it. It's just first listen. It's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> what am I listening to? A little bit. Like, you get that vibe, I think. I think anyone listening to punk for the first time and listening to that song would be like, what is this dude on? Strip all that surprise back and I think I actually really enjoyed it. His vocal delivery is definitely the key to this song, right? Like, I feel like that's what 99% of my attention was on and I was actually really getting into it, especially at the end. I love it when the lead vocal's really into it and he's just, you know, they're just going at it. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. I just love that it starts off with that line. I mean, I can actually relate a lot to what this guy is talking about here, so I'm not even gonna bag him. I think instrumentally, maybe this song will require one or two more listens for me to just get my head around it. It's also just awesome to get a taste of each different type of band in the punk scene, see what they were each about, because I have this idea of what punk is, and it's just this one singular idea, because punk is one singular concept in my brain, and it's really cool to dive into punk and get that different feeling from each of these different punk bands, and maybe then do some future videos on each individual band, um, especially The Damned. <laughs> so the last song is The Clash, and it will be London Holding, and this came out in December of 1979. So it's at the end of the year of when Nervous Breakdown came out. So I know the song Should I Stay or Should I Go. 
I really like that song actually, but I've never really listened to any other Clash, so this will be my moment here, my Clash moment. Once again, the first track off this album, and I've definitely seen this album cover around very often. I've seen this album cover so much. This is a bit longer, this is 3 minutes and 20 seconds. Mm, really dragging it out here, the Clash. I'm just hearing a lot of 2000s fans that probably copy The Clash. Whoa. Wow, The Clash must have a huge influence on other UK bands. It's amazing. This sounds great. Ooh. Ooh. Probably my favorite vocal delivery across all these songs. He sounds so British. Yes! I just love this a lot. Sort of a little spooky. This could go in a Halloween playlist. Getting a lot of playlist ideas here. The ice is just coming. Oh! And you stop on it. The wheat is I really like it. Because London is down there. Yes! London Calling. The vocals are so good. Wow! Imagine listening to that album for the first time and that's the first song on it. I'd be like, I am beyond hyped for this album, which I sort of am. I mean, on first listen, that song just killed it. Just sounded really good. Like it sounded like it had really good production, firstly. It just was mixed really well. But apart from that, the vocal delivery, probably my favorite part and probably my favorite vocal delivery across the five songs I've listened to. He just plays around with it a lot and not every line sounds like the next. Like he plays around with the different tones, like even the speed of his delivery in every single line. Sometimes it sounds like he's just sort of talking to himself. It's just interesting to listen to. It also has this spooky element in it, which I pointed out. It just feels like a zombie or a werewolf could just be sort of like walking down a dark alleyway with this song playing as the soundtrack behind it. I wouldn't be mad and I can't wait to throw it on my Halloween playlist right now. Damn, this song is great. Bring it back to the vocal delivery because he just has this strong accent and sometimes I get a little turned off by strong UK accents then the other half of the time I fall in love with it I just love it so much and this time it's definitely a situation where the accent just sells it to me and it reminds me a lot of other UK bands where they have a really strong accent in the vocals that I love a lot as well like early Kaiser Chiefs or Idols yeah, even The Cure a little bit, or Shame, which came out this year that I really like. When I started listening to the song, I was like, did I accidentally put early Kaiser Chiefs on for a second? Because damn, if Kaiser Chiefs don't mention that The Clash are one of their influences, I don't know what their influence is. Kudos to the band that originally did it, you know? I really appreciate The Clash and what they're doing here, because I would guess that they paved the way for a lot of bands that I love and listen to. I already love the song Should I Stay or Should I Go. I love the song London Calling, that's two for two with The Clash, so I gotta do a Clash video soon. I'm excited about them. All right, I'm excited about pretty much every band I listened to today. Probably the one I had the most troubles with was Black Flag, but that was only because it was a little bit of a slap to the face, that song. Even liked that song. And it makes sense because I'm listening to five of the most recommended songs from five of the most voted for bands from the punk scene. So of course they're going to be really good songs. Ooh, I had a good time today.
okay, man, it's a new genre for me, like heavy metal, been having a lot of fun with that. And now to listen to some punk is really awesome. I just love listening to some new genres every time I listen to a new genre. It just gets me so excited that I can add in another different sound that I can rotate when I'm listening to my music because I just love variety in my listening. It's a more hard hitting, fresher sound than post-punk. It's, it's way more to the point. And so I love it because I'm a big post-punk fan and I also can now be a big punk fan hopefully as well. So really excited to start this new punk journey. I also started my prog journey with a Rush reaction. And so it's all just happening here. I think I maybe I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. I'm just so excited about everything, but I'm just gonna keep doing what I feel like doing and let's just see where it takes me. I hope you have enjoyed watching me listen to my first punk stuff. I definitely enjoyed myself so I'll see you soon next week for another video bye